Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here, going over 4.03, calculating pH. I know, you've been so disappointed that we haven't been doing math the last couple lessons. So here you go, get out your calculator. All right, so what is pH? Remember, it's not correct that it's percent hydrogen or portion hydrogen, but it's kind of a good way to think of it when you're in a pinch, because the H does stand for hydrogen. The correct thing is it's the concentration of hydrogen ions, which we abbreviate as H plus with these brackets around it, and these brackets are pronounced concentration of. Each level of pH is a factor of 10, not just one more. So remember, having a pH of 7 versus 8, 8 is 10 times more basic than 7. 9 is 100 times more basic than 7. 10 would be how many times more basic than 7? 10, 100, 1,000. So it's kind of like the difference between losing a $10 bill and a $100 bill. So examples I had was 0 0.001 molar. And remember, that means 0 0.001 moles per liter of solution. Or I can write this number as 10 to the negative third. How I did that is the decimal started here, and I moved it one, two, three hops, but I moved it to the right, so that gives me a negative exponent. So really, I could write the concentration of hydrogen ions equals 10 to the negative third moles per liters of solution. Then what I can do when I'm given the concentration in molar, I can put it in this formula, the negative log of 10 to the negative third, and it magically gives me the answer of 3, which is the pH. All right, if you have never used log button in math class, that's okay. Quite honestly, I don't even remember how it works exactly other than that it's exponential and has to do with bases of 10. All you need to do is plug it in your computer, okay? So to find the pH when you're given the molar concentration, you change it to a power of 10, and you take the negative log of that, and that gives you the pH. So you can do it algebraically, if you prefer. You can just put it in your calculator. You put the negative sign, then hit the log button. So there's actually a button that says LOG, parentheses, and it's 1 times 10 to the negative 7, would give you an answer of 7. Or if you have this kind of calculator on your computer, you can do it on there too, but it's kind of a funny set of steps. First of all, if your calculator looks like this and you're using it for chemistry, you have to change it to scientific, okay? You need these buttons. So how we do that is if I wanted to type in 10 to the negative 7th, I would type in 10 to the, which would be x to the y, I would type in 7, then I would hit the negative button, and then I always hit the plus button just to make sure I got it. Okay, yeah, it should be a big decimal. And then I need to take the log of that number, so log, except if we look at it, sorry, mine disappeared, hang on, which is okay, I can show you again how I put it in. 10 to the 7th, make it negative. I hit the plus sign just so I could see it for sure. Then I hit the log button. Now this answer is negative. Your pHs are always 0 or a positive number up to 14. So we have to take this answer and multiply it by what? We have to multiply it by a negative 1. Or you can just say, okay, I know the answer is positive 7. All right. I also, so here are the steps. I also suggest that if you want to use an online calculator, you go ahead and do that. And this one is really good. I like it because you can see what you put in the calculator and you can make sure that the whole thing's going in correctly and to me that was helpful. All right, so right now I want you to stop and I want you to practice and actually get this answer of 7. So 1 times 10 to the negative 7th or just 10 to the negative 7th, make sure you get the answer of 7. All right, so let's do another one. Bleach that you would find in many households has a concentration of hydrogen ions. Remember, that's what this means, concentration of hydrogen ions of 1 times 10 to the negative 12th molar. What is the pH of household bleach? So 
the answer is 12. Hey, check this out. If you have 1 times 10 to the, whatever the exponent is, that's your answer. That's what the pH is. Look at this one. 10 to the negative 3, my pH is 3. 10 to the negative 12, my pH is 12. All right, so you can get the answer if it's 1 times, but, 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 when it's 1 times 10 to the whatever, the exponent equals the pH. But usually they give you a number in front of the times 10 to the. So then you have to be able to put it in your calculator. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead and put this one in your calculator. And so again, what our formula is, is the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions, and that will equal your pH. So what's our concentration of hydrogen ions? It would be this. So I would put that into my formula, and I would get negative 11.6575777 blah blah blah. This is what it looks like if you use that web 2.0 calculator link that I put up here. Okay, and I like it because you can see, oh yeah, log base 10, but it still just means log 2.2 times 10 to the negative 12. I got my parentheses in there. I got my answer, make my answer positive, round it to hundredths, and what would I get? I would get 11.66 is my pH. Now remember I said if it's just 1 times 10 to the, you can use the exponent as the pH. Well, here my exponent, you can say, well, it's pretty close to 12. And so that's a good way to kind of check your answer to make sure that it's at least close to what it should be. So I know my answer should be between 11 and 13, right? My answer should be between 11 and 13. If my answer turned out to be like 5, well, then I knew I did something wrong. So just an easy way to check up on how you're doing with your math. If you have questions, if you cannot figure out how to get your calculator to do this, send me a K-mail with the brand and model number of your calculator so I can Google it and find the information. And then if it's fast, I can type it to you. Otherwise, we'll meet and share screens, and I can show you how to use your calculator for this. Okay, as always, if you have questions, let me know.